Oh my god, you're a Halo fan but refuse to play it for up to two years? That's gotta be exaggeration, right? No, and here's why. New video games. I've been in the FPS genre my entire life, and I'm getting sick of it. Valorant, CSGO, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Overwatch, Apex, Destiny, Rainbow, Tarkov. It's getting boring and repetitive. I can't stand to play these games for an extensive amount of time, just doing the same thing over and over for like 10 hours a day. So here's a list of games that I look forward to playing this year and maybe next year if they get delayed. <laughs> This already might be out during the recording, so uh, if it is, I'm live, link down in the description. Now I know this game's already out, but I've never played a Souls-like game, and all my friends are playing it, and it looks really fun to grind out. Bethesda's newest universe. I love Bethesda games. I love Fallout 4. I love Fallout 3. I haven't really played New Vegas. I should play that one. Uh, I love Skyrim. I love the world of Tamriel. I love Elder Scrolls Online, even though I haven't played it in like 10 years, maybe more, probably less. Skyrim is easily a top five game for me and Fallout 4 is easily a top 10 game. Fallout 76 was actually fun whenever they fixed all the performance issues and actually gave the game content and have a roadmap. <coughs> Halo. <coughs> Starfield is a huge mystery to me and other Bethesda fans. And with the cancellation of E3 this year, I think Starfield and many other games might not be ready for uh, showing off. They almost might not even be ready to uh, be shipped to us. There's almost no details to this game aside from the Steam store page, which is concerning, but also intriguing and really just makes me want to play the game right now. Elder Scrolls 6, I will say, I am extremely excited for that, but I probably will not get that until I have like my first kid or something. This might be a weird one to some, but I played the first one and it was great. And I saw that every time I went back, they added so much new stuff to the game. But I feel like Slime Rancher 2 is just going to be a lot more. A lot more to discover, a lot more slimes to make, a lot, a lot of everything. Maybe they'll even make it co-op? Oh. I know this is an FPS game, but it's kind of like Tarkov and I was obsessed with Tarkov a few months ago. Thing is, I'm not that good with Tarkov and there's a bunch of different ammo types and stuff that I got to deal with. All this like, what's meta, what isn't meta, blah, 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 blah. The Cycle Frontier plays like Tarkov, but the elements are dumbed down a little bit. You have like light, medium, and heavy ammo. And there it is, it's shotgun shells. I played the second closed beta, which I think is still going on by the time of this recording, but I don't really want to go back to it at this state because it is definitely not ready. Now this seems like some weird Ubisoft trash that is just getting pushed out and will be forgotten like two months later. And whenever I saw it at E3, I even thought that myself, like this game's gonna die, it's gonna be boring. Maybe I was thinking that because it kind of looks similar to other games that died in two months. But for some reason, this game left a really good impression on me and I can't wait to play it. Yeah, it's another Tarkov shooter. It looks really good. It it has like the same elements, kind of. Hopefully, I, I'm not really sure. Again, not a lot of info on this game. Uh, can't wait to play it. Uh, if we ever do get to play it, if it's not delayed. One of my top five games is Saints Row 3, and I will live to the death to say that that is a good game. I love Saints Row 3. And the reiteration of the series kind of just tells you how fans took Saints Row 4. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I'm glad the game and story takes place in a fresh environment and I can't wait to see it. I recently bought a Switch and really look forward to streaming it and playing it with friends. Once I actually get a capture card and a controller, I'll really be able to stream because I can't play with these stupid Joy-Cons. I can't do it. It doesn't fit my big man hand. And that's my list of reasons why I won't play Halo, followed by another reason why I won't play Halo. The game sucks. 
new games are good hopefully hopefully good new games are hopefully good if you guys want to experience this journey with me go ahead and check my twitch down in the description i'll be live as often as possible at the time of recording this i don't even know what time of day i would be streaming so it's somewhere on the screen here maybe it's up here in this little corner right here maybe it's up behind my head over here maybe it's it's right here on maybe it's on the melatonin is the time on the melatonin the time looks like it's on the melatonin and because i can't follow a schedule for the life of me there will also be my twitter link down in the description in case something comes up and where i have to change my schedule or push back stream time or push back a whole day or maybe a whole week anything can happen twitter is where i go to update people on the streams and of course subscribe to this channel and ring the bell i'll probably turn this channel into a twitch highlight channel i'm not exactly sure as you can see i don't really post that often but whenever i do post you might want to see it okay i'm done talking bye